Live match day sports. Click link in description box down below to watch full game sports. Thanks for watching and enjoy the game. that last I am does that guy up and down like he's on a rubber band. We didn't really weigh the 134. Add me a couple of pounds for breakfast the way those guys always eat. That brings it up to 136. Give it up and you'll get the spring out of it. We want this one's next boat. All right. Quit playing with that gallon. I didn't expect us to do any work. Cut out that yelling. I'll get the sherry back to you, tramps. <laughs> Ain't much respect for the press around here. How's the wife, Anthony? Better? Worse. We had to hang around all day and all night waiting for him to hang that cuckoo. Hard work, all right. Crank it for a dime. Hey, Schwartz, what do you do? Finally. What time is it, anyway? 4.30. Hey, me too. These cars are like wash rags. Let's chip in and get a new deck. These are good enough for me. I'm 80 cents out already. Paper 1059. Hey, take this phone. Darn you ain't doing anything. Uh, you guys crippled or something? Criminal court building, press room. Uh, just a minute, please. Hello, Sarge. The cube. Yeah, I phoned. Anything doing? All right. Thank you, Sarge. Two turns. Say, Ernie, why don't you take your instrument into the library and play it? Hello. Is this the home of Mrs. F.C. Margolis? This is Mr. McHugh with the City News Bureau. Is it true, madam, that you were the victim of a peeping tom? Ask her if she's worth keeping at. Oh, now, madam, that ain't the right attitude to take. All we want is the facts. Tell her I can run up for an hour. Tell her to come over here. We'd like to reenact the crime. Just a minute, madam. Is it true, Mrs. Margolis, that you took the part of Lady Godiva for charity seven years ago? Hello. She cut off. What, her hair? Tell her I'll be right over. Yep. No, he'll be jumping it. Oh, oh, hello, Mr. Byrne. No, Hilly hasn't shown up yet. Yeah, sure, Mr. Byrne. Hello, Van Singer. I just had an interview with Williams over in that death house. That jail, that jail is reeking with germs. 
Oh, believe me, the Board of Health is going to hear about the conditions over there through my paper. It's amazing to me that those prisoners can live long enough to get home. What's the idea, Mac? Say, is that the only telephone in this place? The only one but a large piece. How many times have I got to send you fellas to let my phone alone? You want to talk to a mouthpiece? Go and buy one, like I did. Whitney, 9,000. The germs of the mouth are the most contagious. Oh, shut up, Mr. Reed. Whitney, 9,000. What is this, a hospital? Yeah, Roy, how's your simple coming along? Hello, Sarge. McHugh. Anything doing? Say, you don't have to use my desk for a garbage can, either. Say, how'd you like to stop stinking up this place with those antiseptics? Yeah, anything new on the hanging, Ben Sands? My deal, ain't it? Hey, don't I? What is it? Question before the house. Gentleman wants to know if there's anything new on the hanging. Oh, nothing special. Did you talk to the sheriff? Why don't you get your own news? Somebody ought to see the sheriff. Criminal court bedroom. No, here they come to me. Oh, yes, Mr. Burns. What? I know, Mr. Burns. Uh, yes, Mr. Burns. Goodbye, Mr. Burns. Walter Burns for Hildy again. Something must have happened. I'll tell you what's happened. Hildy's quit. Oh, nurse. You know, Hildy's a fixture on the morning post. Yeah, he goes with the woodwork. Well, he told me he was going to quit. Say, this Walter Burns wouldn't let him quit. He'll find a way to keep him here somehow. Remember what he did to Fenton when he wanted to go to Hollywood? <laughs> Got him into a fight and had him thrown into jail for assault and battery. You mean a real right? Well, if he ain't quit, why ain't he here covering the hangar? I wish I could quit. Ready? Nurse Isabel Zobo. Z for zebra, O for onion, D for baptize, E for anything else, or uh, L for... Uh, oh, don't tell him anybody. L for Listerine. Swedish masseuse, with rooms at 608 Inverness Avenue. Well, this dame was arrested tonight on complaint of a lot of angry wives. They claim she's been treating their husbands with electricity at a dollar a time. Well, the Swedish team is in again. I understand she massages them, too. Well, anyway, she's arrested. And the station house is full of her patients claiming she's innocent. Half the stock exchange is there, too, trying to provide bail. Ha, ha, ha. All right. <clears throat> Bain, six, eight hundred. Say, Ernie, why don't you take up electricity instead of that noise? Oh, it's got no future. Class? No, Mr. Burns. Willie Johnson, I... I'm not lying, Mr. Burns. <laughs> Walter acting like he'd burst a blood vessel. Then you'll have to put another man on the job. In your hat, Duffy. I'm after that bunch of lily livered fox marked peanut politicians who think they're running this town. And Hildy Johnson's the only man on the staff I can trust tonight. But we've got to have a... Uh, we've got to have guns. You haven't got it. He's on the wagon. I ain't. You remember me? I was here last night with Mr. Bensley. Mr. Bensley's still here. Hey, baby. Oh, be done. You see the Hildy Johnson? I 